Hi, I'm Carrie Yates. And I'm Jan Birkins, and we are the co-authors of Shifting the Balance, Six Ways to Bring the Science of Reading into the Balanced Literacy Classroom. And we have been thinking a lot, talking with other educators a lot about this idea of oral language development, which is the focus of chapter one in the book. And <laughs> we actually, our most recent blog post is about this topic because there's a lot of buzz about it. Yeah. And we, and we, in the blog post, we list six ways to seamlessly weave language development into your all day with kids, right? Um, and we've each picked our favorite just to highlight with you here. So Carrie, you want to go first and share your, your pick for today for oral language development? Yeah, I am going to share my pick for today because this is one that is more, um, I think I'm more recently really thinking mm -hmm. about this one. We read um, this piece that explained that, you know, when we're trying to help children understand what it is we're saying, it's the decisions we make about where we will pause in our conversation, how we will break it up, that really makes a difference for kids in terms of processing. Mm -hmm. So we offer this tip called punctuate conversation with pauses, which just encourages you to be thoughtful about how you break your conversation mm -hmm. into meaningful chunks. Yes. I love that one. You just did that too. Yes. I did. <laughs> I think you're referring to the book Listen Wise, um, which oh, yeah. we read. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There was a bit in there about that. Yeah. Yeah. And so. Um, what are you going to highlight? I am. I'm going to highlight um, using interesting vocabulary throughout the day. And especially if we work with young children, sometimes we have the tendency to want to kind of simplify our language. And there is a sweet spot for this. I mean, we can go too far, um, but, but just think about how you can insert more interesting words as you are, you know, on the way to lunch or having children gather at the carpet rather than come sit on the carpet. Or um, I think Carrie, a few minutes ago, you used the word um, perseverate, <laughs> which is such a great word. And what we, what, we, um, what we know is that every word that children hear is mm. remembered in their phonological lexicon. So even it if they just- succeed. Yeah, it's a seed for future reading, for future conversation, and for a child to really learn what the word gather means, they'll need more and more encounters with it. But, but that even that first usage makes a difference. Yeah, that first encounter sort of triggers something in your brain. And as an adult, you can notice this when you hear an interesting word, how you sort of kind of start to think about it a little bit more. It's, it's, it's mm -hmm. getting primed for learning more about that word. So um, there are six ideas in the blog post that's linked mm -hmm. below. Mm -hmm. And um, we highlighted two of them here, but these are meant to help you um, think about how you can bring oral language development across the entire learning day just seamlessly without adding one more thing to the agenda. Yeah. Thanks, friends. Yes, we appreciate you. <laughs>